Again, warm greetings. This is Math 1840 MFG version coming to you from the College of DuPage. And the title of this lecture is Problem Suite Roman 5 of Roman 5. As always, please be an attentive learner while watching this video. Problem 5 um, has a bit of a story. So by way of introduction, this is about Zeno's paradox of the tortoise and Achilles. And Zeno is one of the uh, historical figures that we studied. And he gave mathematicians of the uh, day a lot of grief. Um, here's a picture sort of of a tortoise. And this is Brad Pitt starring in uh, Troy, where I think he actually played Achilles. If not, pretend he did play Achilles. So Zeno of Elia, around uh, 450 BCE, uh, is credited with creating several famous paradox, and perhaps the best known is the paradox of the tortoise and Achilles. Achilles was the great Greek hero of Homer's The Iliad, and it's inspired many writers and thinkers through the ages, notably Lewis Carroll, who also is a math history figure, uh, and he also wrote uh, Alice in Wonderland, and Douglas Hofstadter, who is a, a present-day educator, uh, both of whom wrote expository dialogues involving the tortoise and Achilles. The original goes something like this. The tortoise challenged Achilles to a race, claiming that he would win as long as Achilles gave him a small head start. Achilles laughed at this, for of course he was a mighty warrior and swift of foot, whereas the tortoise was heavy and slow. How much of a head start or how big a head start do you need? He asked Tortoise with a smile. Ten meters, the lad replied. Achilles laughed larger than ever. You will surely use my friend in that case, uh, he told the Tortoise. But let us race if you wish it. On the contrary, said the Tortoise, I will win, and I can prove it to you by a simple argument. Go on then, Achilles replied, with less confidence than he felt before. You see, he knew that he was a superior athlete, but he also knew that the tortoise had the sharper wits, and he, Achilles, had lost many bewildering arguments with him, the tortoise, before this. Suppose, began the tortoise, that you give me the head meter, uh, the 10 uh, meter head start. Would you say that you could cover the 10 meters between us very quickly? Very quickly, Achilles affirmed. And in that time, how far should I have gone, do you think? Perhaps a meter, no more, said Achilles after a thought. Very well, replied the tortoise. So now there is a meter between us, and you would catch up that distance very quickly, very quickly indeed. And yet in that time, I shall have gone a little further along, so that now you must catch that distance up also. Yes, yes, said Achilles slowly. And while you are doing so, I shall have gone a little way further, so that you must catch up that new distance, the tortoise continued smoothly. Achilles said nothing. And so you see, in each moment you will be catching up the distance between us, and yet I, at the same time, will be adding a new distance, however small, for you to catch up again. Indeed, it must be so, said Achilles wearily. And so you can never catch up, the tortoise concluded sympathetically. You are right, as always, said Achilles sadly, and conceded the race. And again, it was tortoise one. Achilles, nothing. So, two problems are assigned based on this. Now, for each of the problems, you are to assume that Achilles runs at a constant speed of 10 meters per second. By the way, that is uh, not quite Olympic speed, but that's very good, and you should realize that they didn't have good shoes back in the day. And you assume that the tortoise runs at a constant speed of 1 meter per second. That's actually pretty good for a tortoise. And also assume that Achilles spots the tortoise in an initial head start of 10 meters, as the story said. So part A, I'm asking you to uh, revisit your high school algebra because this really is a high school algebra problem. How long does it take for Achilles to catch up to the tortoise? And for credit on this, you're to show all of the algebra and define your variables uh, for credit. So you figure out, based on your high school algebra, how long would it have taken Achilles to catch the tortoise? Then, part B, I want you to think about Zeno's world model. Show, using mathematics, that you get the same answer using Zeno's argument precisely back at him. 
this is a numerical calculation. It's not an essay question. Uh, and in fact, it is distinct from part A. Said another way, you are analytically recon reconciling Zeno's paradox, where Achilles never caught up with your high school algebra solution where he did. In closing, now more than ever, time is precious. Each day must count. Do the math, it'll make you strong. And now more than ever, take care of yourself because self-care is important and take care of each other because we're all in this together. Strive to make a difference each day. God bless you all and take care.